What's up everyone? My name is James Lynch. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the HFS2 shoes from Zero Shoes. These have been my go-to running shoes for the last month. I'm going to get into all the details here in just a second, but before I do that, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I am trying to put more review videos on this channel. It's something I enjoy doing and I need to do more often. Now, I want to give a little bit of a backstory here as to why I bought these shoes. So back in June of 2022, I bought the HFS Zero Shoes model that doesn't exist anymore. These guys right here. The reason I bought these was Dan Go, one of my favorite follows on Twitter, this guy is an absolute encyclopedia when it comes to health and fitness. And he did a thread on Zero Shoes a couple years ago, and that's what got me into buying these shoes. So all the time when I've been lifting weights over the years, any of the health professionals, personal trainers that I've spoken to, they always tell you that whenever you're lifting weights or you're doing any sort of activity, you want your feet to be relatively low to the ground, almost as if you're barefoot. Now, when I was hearing about barefoot shoes back when you know, this was a decade ago. I was thinking of those mermaid shoes, the ones you see on Amazon that have the toes and the web. I wasn't really into that. I wanted a pair of shoes, though, that could still get me low to the ground. And for years and years and years, I would buy the Chuck Taylors, you know, which are the ones I'm talking about, those old school shoes. And those would work great. There's just one problem. They're not very durable and you would have to replace them every couple months. I was having some issues with them ripping and breaking around. So I kind of wanted to find a shoe a couple years ago uh, that was going to sort of fit that mold of having some sort of a durable shoe and something I can wear at the gym, especially when I'm doing squats and deadlifts, something where I'm very low to the ground. And these have been absolutely fantastic, uh, these shoes. Um, as you can see, very flexible, uh, easy to travel with, and uh, just they feel great on your on your feet. And I will not wear anything else when it comes to lifting weights uh, in the gym, just because I do like these so much. And they've lasted me uh, you know, quite well. And I like these shoes so much that I ended up buying a second pair just to wear in my everyday life because uh, I just, I couldn't see myself wearing any other pair of shoes going forward. I have really wide feet. It was an issue I've had for years about finding the right type of shoe for me uh, when it came to working out or doing any sort of activity. I've always had wide feet and I always felt like shoes never quite fit right until I got with zero shoes and been very happy with them. So these right now, even till today, these are sort of my, uh, you know, lifting weight shoes. And these are my uh, everyday shoes that I wear that I can wear out. And I just, I, I like the comfort and the feel of the barefoot shoe. And for years when it came to running, I would always go with New Balance because they were one of the few brands that had a Y uh, shoe. And uh, these are the ones, I still have them right here. These work great, but as you can see here, uh, you know, they've got a lot of padding. I wanted more of a barefoot feel, and that's why I decided this year to go with the HFS2s by Zero Shoes for a couple different reasons. And these are a bit different than the HFS1s. You can see the grip's a little bit different. Um, they've got some really cool colors too. And again, these are, you know, my go-to shoe right now when it comes to running. Um, really enjoy these. You get that barefoot feel. There's lots of space in there, and it's also durable enough. I've used this both on the treadmill. I've used it outside as well. These are now my new running shoes and I really enjoy them. And pretty much all the shoes I have now are barefoot style just because I think they're the best fit for my feet. They feel the best. I don't think I'll go to any other brand. I've sort of been hooked ever since I got those first pair of HFS ones. So with all that said, that is why um, I decided to buy the HFS twos because as much as I love the new balance, I was getting that extra support, which I didn't really feel like I needed. And I wanted that barefoot feel. And this sort of solves both things. Uh, the padding that's in here, I'll show you guys right now. Um, the sole that it comes with is actually pretty durable. And I don't get that feeling that like, you know, my feet are hitting the pavement. The sole that's in here works great. You can see the bottom of the shoe is pretty thick right here, which isn't too bad, but it also has that, you know, nice roll up feeling. So if you're ever taking these on the road, I mean, these are shoes that I absolutely love traveling with because it takes up like no space uh, in your suitcase because these are very flexible. They're zero drop. And one of the things I really like as well too with these shoes that sort of drew me to going this route as opposed to sticking with my New Balance was the fact that it's got that 5,000 mile warranty on the shoes where most running shoes, like it says here on the website, are only 200 to 300 miles. So I really like the fact that these are shoes that are most likely going to be around with me for a long time. And like I said, I don't feel like I've lost too much going the barefoot route uh, and getting away a lot of that extra support. Like just to compare these two right here, if you look at the foam support here on the New Balance, I'm squeezing this right now with my hand, you can see how thick that is. With the Zero shoe, it's much thinner 
but you're still getting a lot of support on your feet. Like I've gone running in these and I've not had any issues with pain or blisters or anything like that. I've been pleasantly surprised by that. And like I said, you can see there's a little bit different than the HFS ones. I think these HFS twos are the way to go. I mentioned I use the HFS ones for weightlifting. I can also use these for weightlifting as well. If I take the sole out, I prefer it that way where you're having as little support as possible. When you're doing things like deadlifts, like squats, any sort of exercises where you want your feet to be completely center on the ground. That's also why you see people in the gym that go barefoot sometimes. I think that's a little dangerous. I think this is the better solution here. Going with a shoe like this, these are great for weightlifting as well. I use these sometimes for weightlifting, but like I said, I still have the old HF1 shoes that still work great for me in the weight room. So I typically use those and I use these specifically for running. Now I've talked to all about the positives about these shoes. The only negative, th these are like little things in my opinion. So the first thing that I want to point out to anyone buying these shoes is make sure you're going a bit of a size up. The HFS ones that I have right here, I'm normally a size 12. They recommended getting a size 12 and a half and I haven't had any issues with these. I initially bought these as a size 12 because on the website, it did not say to go up a shoe size. I thought, okay, I want this to fit as perfectly as possible. I did find the 12s were a little bit too small. So I think if you are gonna buy a pair of these shoes, make sure you're going uh, a shoe size, at least a half a shoe size up. I think you'll feel a lot better. I tried the 12s, they were too tight on my feet. I didn't like them. The 12 and a halfs fit a lot better. And that's something, um, you know, maybe it's just a personal thing for me, but that's a bit of a negative because you know I'm, I'm assuming if you are going to buy the shoes you got to trust what it says on the website and the only other negative thing i would say uh, with this as well is that it would be cool if there's a bit more color variety with the shoes um you know there's there's a couple like kind of wild colors but it would be good if they had a little bit more variety but that's really just a small thing from a physical standpoint these shoes are absolutely great and i haven't had any issues with them whatsoever like i said they're durable they're good i've worn them inside i've worn them outside i haven't had any issues at all and i'm pretty much you know sold on zero shoes going forward i'm going to do another review video. I got their hiking uh, slash outdoor shoes as well. I'm going to do that in a later video, but right now I am totally team zero shoes when it comes to any of my health and fitness stuff. I can't recommend them enough. And just quick thing on this video, zero shoes has no affiliation with this video whatsoever. I didn't get these sent. I bought these with my own money. Uh, they cost around $119 US. The shipping was pretty reasonable as far as getting here on time. So, um, you know, no complaints for me. I should mention as well. I also got these shipped to the United States. I don't believe you can get these shipped to Canada. That's kind of a downside to these shoes um, but I have, an, I have an address in the US and I was able to get them sent there and they came within a week it was really really convenient there as well so um, yeah I just wanted to point that out that there's you know no influence from zero shoes on this I'm just such a big fan of this shoe brand and barefoot shoes in general like all my shoes right now even I have some dress shoes too that are barefoot I'll do another review video on that later I'm just totally team barefoot because I feel like for the first time in my life I have a pair of shoes that fit so comfortably and also are durable enough that when I'm going to the gym I don't have to worry about wear and tear so there you go. That is my review of the Zero Shoes HFS2. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. Like I said, I've only been using these for a month, but I have had the original HFS shoes uh, that are quite similar, just a model before. They don't sell them anymore, and I've had no issues with those whatsoever. So I am totally team Zero Shoes when it comes to working out. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I'm going to try to be doing more review videos on this channel going forward. My name is James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.